And five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. We're on the air. You're coming. Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm Lee McCain. I am Beth McCain. And together we are the Beth and Lee McCain Radio Show, where all we do is talk about the law of attraction. That is us. And you know, I say that every week. All we do is talk about the law of attraction. But that is all we do. <laughs> well, wait until we get to my question today. The person who asked me a question, George from Wales. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he asked me a question about that. He and, did. And uh, then we've got another question for you, a wonderful one, here on the uh, Beth and Lee McCain show. And uh, we got some news. We got some news. Yeah, if you, if you can't, if you just can't get enough of us <laughs> <laughs> in 10 minute increments, uh, starting tomorrow night, which is June 8th, which is Sunday night, June 8th, 9 p.m. Eastern Time mm-hmm. and uh, 6 p.m. Pacific Time. Which would be 7 p.m. Mountain Time and 8 p.m. Central Time. So one of those times... I I've, think you covered them all. I'm sure you fit in. And if you're listening to us in Japan, you're on your own. <laughs> anyway, uh, we our one-hour um, radio show debuts, Radio LOA. Mm-hmm. Bet you don't know what the LOA stands for. Law of Attraction. That's it. Okay, what do I win? A kiss. <laughs> oh, thanks. No, <laughs> I'm teasing you. And that is going to be on www.universal7radio.com. Or if you happen to be on the East Coast in the Boston, Massachusetts, and Providence, Rhode Island area, it'll be broadcast uh, over WARL, mm-hmm. 1320 AM. That's it. I'll do my DJ voice on that. All right. WARL 1320 AM radio in Providence. Your old days are showing up. Hey, thank you very much. <laughs> A new car. No. So anyway, so um, uh, WARL 1320 AM in uh, Providence, Boston area. Mm-hmm. And then in the rest of the world, streaming live from w- from WARL on Universal7Radio.com. And that's a little number seven. So it's that's right. www.universal, little, uh, number seven radio.com universal seven okay. radio <laughs> universal seven radio we, we hope did you'll you get, tune in did you get that did, did you get that did you need to say it? <laughs> one more time no i'm teasing yeah so anyway we're, we're pretty proud of the show it's it's a lot of fun a little different a little different mix up than mm-hmm. uh than uh, this show a lot more stuff in it so um if you just can't get enough of that <laughs> <laughs> that beth and lee stuff then just uh, tune in tomorrow night, which would be Sunday, June 8th. Now, if you're listening to the show on Monday, you've already missed it. It was a great show. <laughs> but they'll be on next Sunday, too. That's right. Nine o'clock. It's my birthday, too. <laughs> That's the kind of voice you're using. <laughs> nine, nine o'clock Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Time. All right. That's enough of that. Okay. How about, how about some questions? Okay. Well, here we go. Well, I have one for you. Oh, you can do it first? Yeah. Well... That was the show order as I understood it to be. Guess what? I'm going to mix it up a little. Woohoo! <laughs> Sorry, Jim. <laughs> okay, this is from George, and he's from Wales mm-hmm. in the United Kingdom. Why don't you mention the other laws of the universe? Why all the focus on the law of attraction? Welcome to the Beth Lee Show, where all we do is talk about the law of attraction. <laughs> oh, George, thank you very much for the question. Because it's, it's a very good one. You know, each and every law of the universe is exceptional. You know, it is. Um, there is the law of divine oneness, of action, of vibration, of attraction, of correspondence, of cause and effect, of, com- of compensation, law of relativity, of polarity, of perpetual transmutation of energy. That's, my, that's one of my personal favorites. The law of rhythm. The law of gender, each one has its purpose. But the one thing is you can all see they lead back to one central law and the one that you're focused on, and that is the law of attraction. Mm-hmm. So they are they are they are uh, parts of the su- sum of the parts or parts of the sum. Yeah, I guess they, is what you they would call all it. involve talking about, you know, focusing and mm-hmm. attracting and and when you look at each of them. You know, looking at, there's always the law of polarity. There is, um, you know, negative versus positive. Well, mm-hmm. that's part of the law of attraction as well. Right. You know, each one has that, but the, it always leads back. You know, we've studied this. Yeah. and, and the, uh, For us, it leads back to Well, that. yeah, and, and if you if you put all these things together and you then have the law of attraction, well, you know, then, then you really have the goal that 
most of us out there are looking for. Mm -hmm. But you know, in our in the classes that we teach, like in in boot camp and things like that, we always touch on these things. We do to explain as as you know the sum of the you know parts of the sum. And so some, and some people concentrate on the other ones. Uh huh. Like some concentrate on the law of attraction, but we have found through. Well, you know, we've, all the study that we've done on it. And that, that it's, it's also that. what we've been practicing for the last 10 to 12 years of our lives. Mm -hmm. so. And each one is in, in that mm -hmm. as well. So. so we all apply our lives to all 12 of them and uh, you know, with, with the universal, fall, uh, universal laws. But the focusing is the key. And if you kind of group them all together and focus on the one law of attraction, the others will assist with that. That's and that, true. That's just, you know, so I don't know. I, I think that probably would be the best explanation. You did good. Well, plus it'd be hard to start the show with, Hey, welcome to the Beth and Lee Show, where uh, all we talk about is the perpetual transmutation of energy. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> well, I have one for you. Okay. It comes from Jocelyn in Washington. Okay. I'm assuming that's Washington State and not the uh -huh. D.C. I, you know, really quick, I'm going to let them know what we're laughing at. We're in a new combobulation, if that's what you want to call it, in the studio. And so... Jim and Lee are constantly pointing at the mic for me to look at the mic and speak into the mic because I tend to speak to whoever I'm speaking yeah, you're, you're, to. Yeah, you're not in my sight line anymore. Yeah, so you turn, a... you turn, you're in the new studio, you have to, if you want to talk to me, you have to turn your head and that takes your, that takes your little gob away from and, the mic. And so Lee and, <laughs> and Jim are constantly pointing. I have a feeling they're probably going to make some kind of sign oh, around we're, it. We're going to put a neon, <laughs> neon light on your microphone. So that's why I keep laughing because <laughs> I feel like Kind of like a five-year-old kid in kindergarten where the teacher, the teacher says, hold your pencil this way, hold your pencil this way, hold your pencil. Well, they're saying, turn your head this way, turn your head this way. Anyway. So anyway, Jocelyn writes. Okay. Beth, how come you won't turn your head to the microphone? No. <laughs> You're <'cause>... so... <laughs> okay, so here we go, serious. Why don't... Why, why don't more people practice the law of attraction if it works so well? Here's with my head away from the mic. Here's with it in the mic. <laughs> Does that work better? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm done. All right. Well, Jocelyn, people have a choice to how to live their life, and that is what makes it so wonderful to be here on this earth, creating whatever we decide is our truth. Everyone has their own truth, and everyone believes their truth is the right truth when, in fact, all beliefs lead back to the same truth. We just all have different ways of expressing what we believe is to be the truth. If we forced any belief on another one, we would be imposing upon their own right to create their own world, even if they don't know that they are doing it. Some beliefs feel better to one person where another belief feels just right for another. So the law of attraction works well in any belief because, just like gravity, it works whether you want it to or not. The point is we all have free will and choose to practice whatever we believe in. Some feel more comfortable in not feeling like they are responsible for their life unfolding, and that is okay for them. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I, I do, of course. I mean, that's that's a basic, um, that that's just a basic thing, and it's it's like the question of, well, you know, if it's so great, why aren't people why aren't more people Buddhists? Or, exactly. You know, why aren't more people Baptists? Mm -hmm. Why aren't more people Jehovah Witnesses? Well, it's what's right for them. Mm -hmm. And the law of attraction really isn't. You know, obviously, it's not a religion. No, 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 in no, no. Any but, way. but you know, but in, in terms of this conversation, that's, sure. That's a, you know, it's something that that if it's you know if it's so darn good, why isn't everybody lining up at the well, door? Well, you know what? Whatever rings true within yourself is really what your truth is. Exactly. And you know, again, they all come back to the same truth. They do. So there you go. You did so well with the microphone. Why? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, uh, that brings this little show to a close. We're done. But if you just need more of it. Sunday night, nine o'clock Eastern, six o'clock Pacific. But we'll still be doing this. Oh show yeah, of course. We'll never give week. this one up. Um, Universal Seven. That's the number seven. Universal Seven Radio dot com. All righty. All right. We'll see you next week. All right. Bye. Bye.